So you are growing on a budget. It doesn't matter if it's a small budget or a large budget, uh, you need more light. Uh, for me, I have a six pole, uh, four foot T5 inside my grow tent and I have about 35 inches of usable space left. And I would really like to optimize that. And instead of me going out and spending another 100 bucks or $150 on some T5s, uh, I decided, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and, and give, a shot, give it a shot with uh, building my own CFL. Uh, I am pretty excited about this because one, it can be done pretty quickly and I don't have to wait for another light to be shipped to me. And two, it's very inexpensive. This can go for anywhere between $30 and $50 depending on the lights you're gonna use. Uh, for me, the most expensive portion of this entire purchase was the actual CFL bulbs, which cost me uh, $10 for, for two of them. I probably could have found them cheaper somewhere else, but I was already at Lowe's and I decided, hey, I'm just going to get it all in one shot. And the reason they were that expensive is because of the 6500K uh, color, so it's uh, more expensive than getting like a 5000 which I can get a, a four set for $11, or a, a 2500K. Uh, and that's going to be anywhere between uh, six and nine dollars for four of them. So uh, real quickly, I'm going to run down the materials and then what you're also going to need in order to put this thing together. Uh, number one, I'll start with uh, uh, your 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 receptacles. I have Y um, sockets, and it took me a little while to figure out uh, what I was going to do and how I was going to set it up. I had it in my mind exactly how I want, and what I want to do is put kind of an X pattern um, with four bulbs. Uh, so I had to find the, the proper uh, receptors, and uh, the Y sockets did it for me. These things are only about two or three dollars. I also had to have something for it to plug into, and these are the all-weather um, uh, sockets. So I'm going to have to go ahead and cut these uh, in order to get the uh, the Y uh, Y sockets to fit inside of it uh, uh, properly. Um, you need chain to hang it, obviously. So I have uh, I got four five-foot lengths of the the least expensive. I think is 47 cents. For a foot. Um, the reason I got four is because I have the T5 inside that I need to supplement the hanging strength with. Um, you need one and a half inch U clamps or mounting brackets, and you'll see what I'm going to use this for a little bit. Um, also, a extension cord, some S hooks, um, something to hook the or uh, to hang the actual uh, fixture on, and so I have these little eyelet uh, bolts and some quarter inch threaded rod. Uh, also, lastly, uh, you're going to need this. Uh, it's called galvanized steel. It's found in the plumbing section. And this is a 7 by 24 inch piece. Uh, you can go ahead and get anywhere uh, that's going to fit your size. Um, they had 36 inches, 60 inches. So depending on how big your fixture is going to be, uh, you can just supplement with how big your, uh, your, your uh, galvanized steel is going to be. And that's it for the materials you need. At least I think right now. Um, and now what you're going to need in order to put this together, you're going to need a drill, a working drill, um, a couple of drill bits, uh, a quarter inch in order to go ahead and use the quarter inch threaded rod. And the biggest one you got, and for me this is a 5 16 uh, I'm going to use this to drill into the center and uh, I'm going to run these uh, wires through. I may need to drill, drill one or two separate holes. Um, you're going to need some sort of, I don't have wire, uh, wire strippers, so I'm going to use a... Uh, a blade and then uh, some wire or, or little wire cutters that'll, that'll work for me. Um, and also uh, electrical tape. Uh, that's what I think I'm going to need right now and as this, as this build goes goes along I may run into other issues and I may need to a, a, either run out to the store or uh, B run into uh, the corner of the garage and pick up some other piece of tool. Uh, good news is that I am kind of an idiot when it comes to doing it yourself. So if I can put this thing together, I guarantee you can put this thing together. I've seen a ton of people put it together on the internet, and uh, I, I feel like I, I shouldn't have that big of an issue. Uh, I am not a do-it-yourselfer, uh, but when it comes to growing things, um, I, I enjoy it a lot better than, than like when the wife wants me to hang a chair rail around the room. So uh, stick with me, and I'm going to go ahead and we'll get started. All right, change one. Uh, you need a tape measure and a marker. All right, so what we're going to do to get started is we're going to go ahead and measure uh, halfway in between this flashing or this uh, galvanized steel um, in order to find the center point because that's where we're going to go ahead and uh, mount the, the light receptors. So we measure all the way down. It's 24 inches. Power 24. 12. Good job. So we're going to go ahead and mark 12 inches. 12 inches, sorry about that, um, 
And then we're going to go ahead and do it the same way as um, find the center point here. Uh, we're going to go with right at the here. And then we're going to go ahead and drill our first holes. Uh, and that's going to help us to um, mark exactly where and how these things are going to go ahead and get mounted. So get your bigger or your biggest drill bit out. Make sure you're going the proper way. Um, and See, I told you I'm not a very good DIY individual. There we go. Nice. Make it as smooth as you can get it. And now, in order, we're going to go ahead and take a look and see if they uh, fit properly. Um, if you can get all of the, all four of these up in through this hole. And so they you can't, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill another hole right next to it. Okay, once you got a nice size hole, what you're going to want to do now is uh, if you are using a weatherproof one like I do, you're going to want to cut away the excess rubber. If you're not, you can skip the next eight seconds of this video in order to uh, uh, get to what's coming next. Basically, all I'm doing is I'm just going to cut away the excess because uh, the, re the Y receptor or the Y um, hookup won't fit inside. So we got that, and now we got our Y. And all we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and screw this all the way in. Tight. And what we're going to go after next is what we're going to take that um, one and a half inch bracket and we're going to kind of mark where uh, these are going to be mounted. So uh, we want to feed, first of all, we want to feed both of these through. Um, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to feed these in. And then we want to mark, like I said, where these two are going to go. So you get them at a good spot. Um, take your uh, take your clamp and kind of push down on it or squeeze it. So when you push it onto the uh, rubber, it'll expand so it fits nice and snug for you. So now I have to go there. Um, hold it in place. Take your marker. Mark. I know you're waiting for me to hit my face with it. And now you know where you're going to go ahead and drill, drill your holes. Um, for this particular one, we're going to use um, the quarter inch drill bit again. Um, and pretty much we can pull our receptors out, our, our sockets out. And all we're going to need now is our clamps and uh, the actual. Uh, drill bits or drill. Um, it comes in handy to have a piece of wood because you have something to drill into uh, instead of just kind of putting it into the air. So I have my 
holes lined up on this one, and I'm going to go ahead and drill. Okay, once you got all your holes drilled, what you want to do is go ahead and mount the sockets in there. I got this first one done, and I'll show you how I do it uh, with the second one. Um, take your U-clamp and stick it on the, uh, uh, the receptor, and then on, uh, which is on the Y-clamp. Um, go ahead and feed it through, and then what I have is a quarter inch by a half inch uh, bolts that I got from Lowe's, um, and it fits nice and snug, uh, and, and it does, you know, and it's really short, so there's not a lot of uh, a bolt protruding through the top of it. Um, just go ahead and feed these through, and then the the nut on the other side um, will keep it in place once I um, get it all in there. Okay, now you just go ahead and feed the nut on the other side. Uh, these are the okay, give yourself a wrench to hold it in place. And then a screwdriver. I know item number like seven that I forgot. But you, you kind of can always depend on a screwdriver being involved in pretty much anything you're going to do. Fits there nice and snug. Get you all set up there. And then, to give you an idea what it looks like, just like that. And you're just going to screw your lights, right, their bulbs right into your, your wire receptors.